The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, no, he will be called John. But they answered her, there is no one among your family relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father Zechariah, who was mute, what he wished to be called. Zechariah asked for a table and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately, Zechariah's mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessings to God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of God was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. My first parish that I was assigned to as a young priest, as pastor, was a little bitty um, country church. Um, the church building was an old Air Force barracks that had been moved from Biloxi way up into the country some years back. The aisle in the church was big enough for only one person to go down, which was a challenge for little weddings. The church, an average collection on a Sunday was maybe two or three hundred dollars. So the little parish was not well healed. When it came to Christmas to decorate, they would have, they would go down outside and they'd cut down a pine tree and put some lights on it. And for the greenery, they would go out and cut um, hollies, natural hollies that grow up in the woods, and they'd put that around. I really loved that parish. I was only there for four years. And then I was transferred to larger parishes. Ever since then, it, um, it concerns me a little bit about the extent of the Christmas decorations. And, Sometimes I'll bring it up to the men and women who decorate that maybe, maybe it's a little bit too much, I'd say, I say. And always, every year, forgive me, but I'm just a little bit concerned about the cost, you know? This year, one of the woman, women told me, she said, Father, she said, we need to decorate like this. It's an important, it's an important celebration. It's the festival of Christmas. It needs to be too much. You know, she's absolutely right. Without a doubt, she's absolutely right. Over the next few days, hopefully, especially during this time of COVID, hopefully all of us will have the opportunity to eat a little bit too much to gift each other, maybe a little bit too much. And certainly over the course of the next few days, we'll have the opportunity to raise a glass of good wine. You know, all of that is good. And the reason it's good to raise a glass at Christmas is because we do that every time we come to Mass. It is the symbol of the ultimate, exaggerated, too much salvation of our God. 
So in the next few days, I hope that with your family and friends, perhaps diminished a little bit this year, you will raise a glass because it is, it is a symbol of giftedness, it is a symbol of cheer, it is a symbol of family and friendship, but most of all, it is a symbol of the salvation that comes to us in the birth of our Lord. And so as people of faith, let us offer our last day of Advent intercessory prayers. Indeed, we pray that especially this year, we may be briefly relieved of concerns that we've lived with over the past year. May God help us with the pandemic. For this we pray to the Lord. Today, let us pray for our own sister Jackie Tarrant, who is exposed, was exposed to the coronavirus. May the Lord protect her in the coming days. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all little children at this time that they may receive the magical wonder of Christ born unto us. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord and for what else shall we pray this morning? Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the intentions of those who have been watching us online over the past several months. May God hear their prayer. For this we pray to the Lord. And let us pray for the intention of our Mass this morning. Our Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Bob and Penny Rogelin. May they rest in peace. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord o oh, gracious Father, on this last day of the Advent season, we give you thanks for our faith. We ask you to hear us, for we pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 